What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, Rockin' the Country, your channel too. I'm having a ball with this. Welcome to all my new subscribers and the old ones and, and the lurkers, everybody who's just involved. I'm doing a subscriber request today. I haven't reacted to any of Conway Twitty's stuff yet. And so when I saw this request by Deb Friedenberger, Deb, thank you for the recommendation. Uh, I'm doing Conway Twitty's. She needs someone to hold her when she cries. Um, and this is a treat. I mean, what we're going to see here is him performing in 1973 on Hee Haw. So I'm pretty sure Hee Haw went off the air, but we've all seen Hee Haw. Even I, who grew up in New Jersey, saw Hee Haw. And um, this is off of Conway's 1972 album, Someone Needs Someone to Hold Her, which is an interesting title. I still don't know exactly how to interpret that. And uh, he is from Friars Point, Mississippi. And uh, he passed away, though, in 1993 only at age 59. So, um, yeah, I don't know the circumstances around that, but, um, you know, uh, it sounds like he just got sick, you know, just to, I didn't hear of an accident or anything, but you guys will leave that in the comments. I'm sure about that. But anyhow, we can enjoy this. We've got a video footage. It's going to be grainy cause it's from 1973, which I love. Um, I do. I love the history. I love feeling that. It's like, you know, when you're listening to vinyl, a record, it gives you that feeling, you know, for me of when I grew up, because that's what we had before CDs came out. And now you just download stuff and put it in your iPod or your phone. All right, here we go with Conway Twitty. He's the man. I mean, everybody knows Conway. She needs someone to hold her. This is a reaction. I don't know it. Steel guitar right away, too. Lord, she needs someone to hold her when she cries. She packed her few belong, left a note, and now she's gone. And I can't stand to think of her out there so long. She's out of sight She'll pull off the highway And she'll cry Ah, oh, that's true And she needs someone to hold her When she cries Someone who really understands The way she feels inside Tears won't stop no matter how she tried And she needs someone to hold her when she cries That's beautiful. I don't blame her for leaving, Lord, she did That was one of my first thoughts like is she leaving him like it could have been the daughter you know i've learned not to make assumptions but uh, it also could have been you know the man's woman and she left and yet she he knows her well enough to know how she responds when she's going to cry and she's going to need to pull off the road and he wants somebody to hold her so she's taken care of but my thought is or was and is if he knew her that well Sometimes you figure it out after the fact and you express what you wished you'd been expressing all along before she left, you know? So let's just see where the song goes. I've driven her into a world as dark and cold as ice with no Feels 
shine. But I will say this. She knew herself well enough to know she preferred to have somebody hold her when she cried, but she still left because whatever he was or wasn't doing wasn't enough. No judgment, right or wrong. Maybe she just expected too much. Maybe he gave too little. Maybe it was neither. It just didn't work out. But, you know, it, it was bad enough for her to leave because she knew she'd have to pull off the road and cry. I mean, women know themselves well enough. They know themselves better than we guys know ourselves, I think, about what's going to happen. And, um, and she still left knowing that there'd be nobody there to hold her as she drove off. And, and and she still did it. So it says she really wanted to leave. Uh, who's got that song? La I love it. I think I re reacted, to, reviewed it. She's leaving me because she really wants to. <laughs> Sounds like that here for Conway. And if she ever loves again, I hope that she will find. Still a beautiful thought. Cause she needs someone to hold her when she cries. Yeah. All right, Tom. Right. Wow, that was that was beautiful. I mean, it was sad. I've used the word poignant a few times on videos, but that's a that's a poignant song. It's a song about love, love lost. He just wants somebody to be there for her, even though it can't be him any longer, which is a beautiful thought. And then you're like, well, why did she leave? Did you not understand what she needed when she was with you? I don't know. Deb Friedenberger, you know, you have thoughts on this. You recommended, you know, you wanted me to react to it. So you recommended it to me. So maybe your thoughts are aligning with mine. I don't know, but um, Conway's got just that unique voice. I mean, and then I love it when a song opens up with steel almost right away. The bass line was very simple, as they typically are in traditional country songs. You know, boom, 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 boom. Very, usually just very simple, kind of like that. But um, I'm not rating that one either. Um, you know, one, it's the first song I've reacted to of Conway's. And he passed away, so I never rate the song, the first song that I react to after they passed away. But this is too much of a classic song. So um, she needs someone to hold her, unrated, but it'll be in my playlist. I've got two playlists. One is classic songs, not rated, and that's where this one will go. And the other one are songs that I rated at a nine or higher. And um, so I'm not rating this one. So... All right, that's it, guys. Leave your comments on this. Some of you, it'll take you back, I'm sure. And I love seeing your comments on that. And uh, Deb Friedenberger, thank you very much, my dear, for that. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to uh, seeing your comments on it. All right, have a great day, guys. Keep rocking the country.